This is the Iowa Weather Report for Thursday, December the 6th, 2012. And now, our first look at the Zero ZGFS model run. At noon today, we still have much, pretty much a zonal flow across most of the country. Some energy still well up into Canada, and that's where a lot of the cold air resides as well. And we have an impulse coming through here with a cold front with some shower activity, very isolated at best about a 20 to 30 percent crack at some showers and highs today will be in the 40s and 50s cooling off on Friday into the 40s and 30s even with some clouds and maybe a very isolated shower or maybe a flurry around we head off into Saturday be the best of the weekend it'll be fairly cool highs in the 30s to lower to middle 40s with some increasing clouds in from the west and then on to Sunday, this is Sunday morning at midnight, we have a system coming through. Now here we have a low in South Dakota and one over Texas. This low in South Dakota is going to be taking a lot of the moisture or lack thereof, and it's going to lift a lot of the snow north of the state, and we may get a few flurries. So the snow totals now looking very, uh, not very promising across the state. And then by Monday, that's off to the east. Cold air seeps down. This would bring temperatures down into the 20s for highs, maybe lower 30s, lows in the teens, and a, bre and a fairly breezy north wind. Tuesday starts out cold, warms up to about 30, maybe 35, with mainly sunny skies. few more clouds in the northern counties than in the south. We head to Wednesday. Winds start switching back to the south and west. Temperatures warm at least into the 30s across the state with a storm system near the U.S.-Canadian border with some snow up in that area. And a week from today, a uh, week on this coming th next Thursday, we have a trough axis and a pretty decent trough moving into the plains and upper Midwest. And at the surface, this would bring a little bit of snow activity to the state, but again, most of the moisture will be all off to our south and east with a storm in that part of the country. So these systems get very organized and then tend to fall apart. And this may be the case again with this storm here on the 18th. We have a very deep trough and lots of energy in the middle part of the country swinging all the way down into the Gulf and this would bring a storm system and this could bring some snow but don't count on this being on the next run we've seen this come and go and in a couple of days it'll look pretty much like the storm system on Sunday and at the end of the forecast on the 21st we have pretty much a quick fast moving zonal flow straight out of the west some energy well up to our north and if this was to be right which we're highly doubting it could bring may bring some flurries around and seasonally cool temperatures with highs maybe around freezing and lows in the teens so really no confidence past seven days at this run either last night's satellite image we have confidence that there are a few clouds mid to high level clouds moving in from the west with a few showers along it this will be passing through the state later today with some shower activity albeit 20 to 30 percent crack at it watch warning map very quiet across the country outside of the Pacific Northwest where we have some winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings there. Elsewhere, it's just very tranquil and quiet at this time. The QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Monday evening at 6 o'clock showing the heaviest amounts of rain as you saw in the model run well off to our south and east with maybe three inches of rain over the Ohio Valley and maybe a quarter to a half an inch of liquid around here.